and warm welcome to the ADL board and to the friends and family members of the honorees. My name is Chris Case, and I am here to represent my late husband, Walter Case. Dr. Case passed away March 5th, 2015. He was admired and beloved by his friends and family and was well known to the greater Houston area as the voice of tolerance. For over 25 years, his inspiring story about his tragic life during World War II was shared with thousands of students and educators. Walter connected to the children and their teachers. His closing remarks after sharing his personal stories surviving this tragic time in the Holocaust. Hate destroys and love builds. The ADL established the Walter Case Educator Excellence Award as a way to recognize educators who understand the value of creating safe and respectful schools where all students have the opportunity to be successful. It gives me personal pleasure to announce this year's 2022 award winners. Marilyn Stevens of Best Campbell Elementary of Lamar Consolidated ISD. Joe Blatton of the Schlinker School of Houston, Texas. Jarvella Ferrone of Peto High School, Katy ISD. Greetings, my name is Hank Wolgamot and I'm in fifth grade at Best Campbell Elementary. I sincerely appreciate No Place for Hate because they're the ones that stop bullies from bullying, that keep the school safe and happy. Um, we've watched this person throughout her six years here. She started at our school when I started school. She's a safe person to talk to. Whatever you need to say, she listens. She also does fun activities at our school that unite us in a front against bullying. She's one of my favorite people on planet Earth and one of the nicest as well. Therefore, I'm delighted to announce that this year's recipient of the Walter Case Educator Excellence Award is Campbell's own Miss Marilyn Stevens. Thank you, Hank, for that kind introduction and kind words. I am so honored to be receiving this prestigious award. This is my seventh year as a counselor, and each year I've had the pleasure of coordinating the No Place for Hate program. This program is incredibly vital and relevant for our kids and communities, and I love that No Place for Hate allows our schools to foster learning and embracing the differences of one another to create a safe and respectful school. From a young age, I knew I wanted to be a school counselor because I wanted to help young people the way a counselor once helped me. I, like so many of us, know what it's like to face adversities, and my goal as a counselor is to help kids climb their way out of that hard, dark place to see the light. With that comes the huge responsibility of teaching our kids to love and respect and care for themselves and one another. And that's what No Place for Eight means to us. I hold the task of making sure Campbell Elementary is a No Place for Hate campus in the highest regard because the value in it is immeasurable. In accepting this award, I'd like to thank our wonderful teachers, staff, and administration that work so hard to make our school a No Place for Hate campus. And thank you to our students and parents who put their hearts into No Place for Hate. Lastly, thank you ADL for this award and thank you for all the profound work you do. Hi, my name is Daniel Burdine. I like being part of the No Place for Hate Coalition because the activities inspire us to be kind and inclusive of others. For example, our school recently made portraits of ourselves and hung them up in the hallway with us all holding hands. This project helped us to think about how everyone is unique but also still connected. Our fifth grade class also performed skits for each other. One skit showed us the importance of being helpful and the rewards of helping others. All the activities we do as, as part of the No Place for Hate program teach us how to, be better, how to make better choices in life. We also have a very special teacher at our school who has led our No Place for Hate coalition for many years now. He is really passionate about it and loves us for, to all be involved. I would describe him as extremely knowledgeable and also a very kind and patient teacher. We are so lucky to have him at our school. He truly represents everything that the No Place for Hate program stands for. 
This year's Walter Case Educator Excellence Award recipient is Mr. Joe Blanton. For 17 years, the No Place for Hate program at the Schlinker School has allowed staff to work with our elementary students throughout the year to build an inclusive school environment, one where respect and equity are self-evident every day. For the past four years, I have served as the program coordinator alongside a team of educators and administrators committed to the ideals of No Place for Hate. I want to thank Casey Souter, Elementary Division Head, and Karen Miller, Director of Counseling and Family Services, for their continuing support, guidance, and leadership. Embracing the idea that students should be allies and upstanders, and not bystanders, and the role this plays for students in standing up to bullying promotes a culture of kindness and acceptance. One of my favorite No Place for Hate activities is called When I Grow Up. It examines gender bias for an elementary school audience. After reading about Monet Davis, a little girl who overcame gender stereotypes to become a Little League baseball pitcher, students learn more about how accepting it is in the recent past for people to be told what sports and careers they could or could not pursue based strictly on their gender. Our students discuss how perplexing gender stereotypes are and just how wrong this inequality makes them feel. As the science specialist at my school, I enjoy leading this opportunity for students to explore different careers as I myself was steered by amazing teachers during my youth to imagine myself as a scientist and educator. I gain valuable insights into my students' interests as I learn alongside them who they dream of becoming. A female scientist, a structural engineer, a fire department fire chief, a male nurse, court reporter, or even elementary school teacher. In closing, I can honestly say that the burden of work that exists for educators to prepare students to become confident self-learners, capable of empathy and compassion in an increasingly changing world is in fact made easier through our school's participation in the No Place for Hate program. Thank you to all my students, parents, and staff at the Schlinker School for your participation and support during my coordination efforts these past four years. Being named a recipient of the 2022 Walter Case Educator Excellence Award is such a great honor. I am so grateful for this recognition by the Anti-Defamation League of our No Place for Hate Coalition's hard work and my leadership role. Thank you, ADL, for creating and curating such an important and impactful program as No Place for Hate. Hi, I'm Layla DeQueer. Um, I'm a graduating senior at Peyto High School. I've been here all four years. Um, what's great about Ms. Firon and how she has brought No Place for Hate to the campus was um, Peyto High School has always been a really inclusive and progressive campus. Um, but Ms. Firon, when she brought No Place for Hate, she brought this passion to Peyto that I haven't seen before. Her passion for No Place for Hate is just so infectious and it keeps the culture that I saw when I was a freshman now and it's really wonderful to see. She's coordinated several campaigns this year, including the anti-bullying campaign where students were showed vi shown videos in their advisory class um, and we learned how to identify bullying behavior. We learned the da dangers of being a bystander to bullying um, and the significance of cyberbullying and how it affects students in our generation today. Um, a few months ago, we did Peyto Has No Labels, which was an inclusivity campaign where students um, all thought of a hashtag on what inclusivity meant to them. So for me, I did hashtag equity because I believe that equity is just a stronger word than equality because everybody needs something different to succeed. And most recently, we've done the Take What You Need campaign, where students can exchange sticky notes between each other, and you can take what you need for the day and replace it with another message that you think somebody else might need. I'm excited to announce this year's Walter Case Educator Excellence Award recipient is... Charvella Firon. My name is Charvella Firon. I am a high school counselor here at Peyto High School in Katy Independent School District. I am honored to be a recipient of the Walter Case Award for being a coordinator for No Place for Hate for the past 10 years has been a blessing. I have seen a lot, I have felt a lot, 
at Patricia Pato High School, we have done a lot. Students here at Pato High School are inclusive. They are, um, they have no labels. They are an acceptance of each other. And the fabric of that is being in a building that is diverse, not only in students, but in staff and in community. Thank you, ADL, for giving me this opportunity of being able to not only help the community, but refill my bucket as well. Today's three award recipients have gone beyond the call of duty to be honored with this accomplishment. A teacher has a great opportunity to influence the lives of their students. To quote Walter, teaching is one of the noblest professions in the world. I am happy to add my voice to the chorus of well-wishers. Congratulations to all award recipients and thank you 